One of the biggest challenges students have is taking and organizing notes. How can you do it using Microsoft's OneNote application? All of this and more coming up in this video. Because OneNote provides so much flexibility in how you can organize your data, you would have to decide how would you like to build a hierarchy. Couple key considerations. Notebook is a file which is stored in your OneDrive. If I navigate from OneNote to OneDrive and then click on the documents, I can see my file right here in the list of OneDrive. I would recommend you have three main considerations when deciding how to organize your data. Security, future growth, and search. Let's talk about each one in more details. If you're planning to collaborate with other people on your notes, it might be a good idea to create a separate notebook for each category. This way you can share it with them and you don't need to worry about them seeing other irrelevant information or something maybe you don't want them to see. For example, if you're working on the home improvement project and would like to share your notes with the contractor, you might consider creating a separate notebook for home improvement projects. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Mikhalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career, I worked as a consultant, helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. Second important consideration is future growth. Would you be able to add necessary categories to your OneNote notebook? For example, if you created Notebook Home Improvements, you can have sections Kitchen Remodeling and Hardwood Floor Replacement. But would you be able to add your student lecture notes, your to-do lists, or your non-home improvement projects into Notebook? This is something to consider when organizing the data. And last but not least is the search. Would you be overwhelmed by the search results if you search everything in your Notebook? OneNote provides exceptional search capabilities but you might be overwhelmed with the search results and may not be able to find what you're looking for if you don't organize your data correctly. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks, and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. Let's look at some ideas of how you can consider organizing the data. This is the structure of the Home Improvement Notebook in OneNote. You see that Notebook is named Home Improvements. It has two sections, Kitchen Remodeling and Hardwood Floor Installation. Kitchen Remodeling has two pages, Design and Research, and I Identify Contractors and Get Estimates. In Design and Research, we have two subpages, Countertop Ideas and Cabinet Ideas. Once you design the structure, it is very easy to implement in OneNote. As you can see, I created two sections. One is Kitchen Remodeling, another one is Hardwood Floor Installation. Kitchen Remodeling section has four pages. Two of them are subpages. For example, in Design and Research, there are two subpages, Countertop Ideas and Cabinet Ideas. And second pages identify contractors to get estimates. Hardwood floor installation section has only one page floor selection. Once you build the hierarchy that will work, you can start populating it with data. And you can add pictures in OneNote either by uploading them from file or by just copying and pasting them right into the application. Once you have pictures in place, you can do typical operations that you do with the images that will help you organize the notes. You can grow, shrink, crop, and do a lot of other things as needed. You can also enhance pictures with notes. For example, this might be an estimate from Johnson Contractors and include the pricing information. This way you can search by any one of these keywords and you will be able to find this data. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. If you are a student, this is how you might consider organizing your data. For example, if you study at University of Wisconsin, you might have a notebook related to University of Wisconsin. Your two sections might be Fall of 2020 and Spring of 2021. 
and in fall of 2020, you might be taking two classes, Introduction to Computing and Windows 10, and you organize your subpages as a lectures from each class. Having the correct organizational structure will allow you to navigate through OneNote quickly and find what you're looking for very easily. I have a question for you. Do you have a better way of solving the challenge that was presented in this video? Could you please share your thoughts in the comment section of this video? Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.